Last Saturday, some of the state's top girls soccer teams gathered at Olympic Park in Schaumburg for the semifinals of this year's PepsiCo Showdown. Facing off for the right to advance to this year's championship were Buffalo Grove and Lions Township. Actually, one of the few nice days this spring for the matchup in the first half. It's Lion Township attacking, but a big save by Sarah O'Connor. Diving to her right, and it flexes away from the net, no rebound. This time down, Buffalo Grove cannot clear the zone, and LT takes advantage to keep the ball in close. And then the blast is Katie Doherty, the senior, drills it into the back of the net for the goal. And a 1-0 LT lead. Buffalo Grove now with the free kick. Amanda Kowalski with all kinds of flight time. And then the attempt with the header. Uh, but a diving save knocking away is Lydia Breen. It keeps it a 1-0 lead for LT. Bison now with a corner kick and a chance for Colleen Seikert. Doesn't get a clean shot away, and Breen is right there anyway for the cleanup. Great rush down the pitch by Colleen Seikert. The pass over to her left, and it's Allie Ingram coming away. And Ingram with an opportunity to shot from the shallow angle, and it goes in! Ties the game at one at the 29-42 mark. The Bison with another chance, too. Chance to take the lead, starting with the free kick into the box. Ingram, though, will hit the crossbar on the header rebound attempt. And finally, it's cleared. It's one all at halftime. 8.22 in the second half. LT, outstanding passing. And Christian Janicki yeah, finds the open spot on the left side of the goal. And it deflects in for the score, a 2-1 to one lead for the Lions. Just a few minutes later, LT battles again, and they get the ball. Great effort by Doherty. As she wins the uh, chase to the corner, fires back, and it goes in. The Lions now lead it 3-1. to one. They appear to be in control. But Buffalo Grove has other ideas. At the 20-minute mark, it's Kelly Zeichert dribbling to the middle. And then it's over to Kim Herzog. And Herzog will take the kick, and it will deflect off Breen and into the net for the score. So the Bison are back on the board, uh, but still trail 3-2. But three minutes later, off the throw-in effort. A sensational play and shot by Ingham. And there's absolutely nothing great to do as this shot goes into the net for the score. And suddenly the game is tied at three. 13 minutes later, it's BG attacking again. Kelly Zeichert will pivot and pass across the crease and pass the goalie. Pass the defender, and here it comes now. And watch Herzog will be there for the rebound for Buffalo Grove. And she shoots, she scores! What a comeback by the Bison. They charge in the finals, and they get to talk to our very own Gary McGowan. A great win today. One game to go for the championship. How were you able to erase that 3-1 deficit? We just kept playing with a lot of heart, and we never gave up, and we came back with the win. Take us through your game-winning goal. Well, Kelly had the ball, and uh, she was crossing it, and I saw that no one was on the weak side. And at center mid, I just filled in to the spot that no one was there, and it was just a hustle goal. And uh, it bounced off the other player as well, but I just kept fighting through. So a great rally by Buffalo Grove. Three straight goals to win it 4-3 to three as they advance to the showdown final. Who would be the next team to advance to the PepsiCo Showdown Championship? Our final highlight takes us back out to Schaumburg as Loyola faced New Trier in Saturday's second semifinal matchup. These rivals warming up for this second semifinal. First half of the action. New Trier with a scoring chance. Maddie Mulford charging in on the break, but coming out of the net and diving to cover up is Rambler goalie Lauren Smith. The Trevians keeping the pressure on. Here comes Mulford with a head of steam. She gets the shot away, but Smith comes out again, makes the save, and then the ball will be cleared out of harm way. New Trier keeps attacking Mulford this time. The pass over to Kelly Mede. The sophomore takes the shot, but another save by Smith will simply just scoops it up, and it's a scoreless game at halftime. Second half, Loyal with the pressure off the throw in. Devin Burns, the shot at the tough angle, but Danny Coffin for New Trier makes the save. Another chance for the Ramblers. Good passing, but once again, Coffin, great anticipation, will make the grab. The game stays scoreless. Until the 10 50 mark, New Trier breaks through. The pass to the corner. Mulford trying to get some room, takes a tough shot, 
and somehow finds the back of the net for the goal. And a 1-0 lead, the Trevians break out in front. Loyola trying to answer. They have a chance here off the free kick uh, into the box. But instead of a hand violation against Leah Baldo, and she knows it, an opportunity there ends that threat. Dutrier with a free kick this time. The other way, Molly Cahill with the boot. It's right on net, but another save by Smith making the catch. Again, no rebound. So it's still 1-0, a chance for the Trevians to strike again. Some breathing room maybe on the break. The centering pass of Maggie Armstrong knocks it just high and up and over the net. It will go. 1-0 your final. They talk to Gary McGowan. What kinds of challenges did this Loyola team present for you today? Well, this is always like a big emotional game as well as always like really physical. And um, they know, like, we just know, like, each, like, we know their teammates really well. Like, it's just like, it's like, it's just an emotional game. So that's always a challenge that they bring to us. And just that they're all like really good athletes. They know how to play soccer. Craig knows what he's doing with them. So this is always a great competitive game because it's two great high schools like coming together and just battling it out. So. Um, you, you mentioned the rivalry. What uh, significance does it have for you personally? Well, personally, um, they've knocked us out of the um, state tournament twice since I've been here, and we've beat them once. And so this will be my fourth time with them. So this is I always want to crush them. Like my freshman year, I didn't really understand the rivalry as much as some of the seniors did. And now I know like how big of a rivalry is. And every time like we play them, we just want to like destroy them. So and I'm sure they feel the same towards us. Whatever the sport, these two schools always battle this time. No exception. New Trier comes out on top. Your final one to nothing.